Hi YouTube and welcome to another episode of Saturday Morning Crafts. Saturday Morning Crafts is a monthly collaboration that I'm hosting as well as Markeisha who is Sweet Papery Treasures. We also have Erica who is Scrap Diva 29. We have Gloria who is Crafty Kate 7. We have Rosa, who is Rosa's Creative Way, and we also have Shishi, who is Shishi Crafts. And so we get together every second Saturday of the month, and we share with you guys projects that we create using our dyes, our, um, our machines, anything that we, you know, feel we want to share with you guys. So I hope you guys will tune in and join us every second Saturday of the month for Saturday Morning Crafts. I will have all of the young ladies' YouTube channels linked in the description box below so you guys can run over, subscribe, as well as hit that notification button so you won't miss an episode of Saturday Morning Crafts. I have also created a playlist uh, for Saturday Morning Crafts, and I'll include that also in the description box below. So, what I've decided to share with you this month, I'm going to share with you some dies by Marianne Design, um, and I'm getting ready to create some baby books. So, I wanted to get a jump start on those projects, and so... That was a great time for me to use my collection that I have of Marianne Design um, dies. And so I'm going to share the die cut, the dies with you and then I'll share with you the die cuts. I haven't created a project because I'm prepping and getting ready for my baby books, but I'm going to share with you what these dies look like and I cut them out of felt and mulberry paper. So I didn't want to use a regular paper. I wanted to, you know, try try my hand in something different and use some felt, um, you know, as well as some mulberry paper, as I mentioned. So let me share with you guys first the dies um, that I'll be sharing with you. Okay, you guys, I have a ton of them. I love these cute little animal um, dies by Marianne Designs and this was so much fun to play with all these cute dies. So let me go through them, through them quickly and share with you. So this is the cute little um, um, deer. <laughs> this is the cute little deer and the sheep, the pigs, the giraffe, the dinosaur, the frog, the elephant, the hippo, the monkey, the koala bear, the panda and the bear. So they have two of these. Um, you know, like you can create either the bear or the panda. And the cute little kangaroo with the little baby in the pouch. All right. So, let me share with you the die cuts. So, here they are, you guys. As you can see, I have been busy. <laughs> so, I like I said, I'm trying to get a jump start on my baby books that I'm going to be doing. And um, I wanted to go ahead and play with these dies. So I'm going to share with you my favorite one. And then I'll just go down the line, okay? So first off, I want to share my very favorite. This is my favorite. <laughs> the cute little giraffe. And as you can see here, I use some really light pastel yellow um, felt. And I picked up a whole big stack of this pastel color felt, all different colors from Target. So check out your Targets if you're looking for these soft colors as far as felt. And then you can see here, this is where I use the mulberry paper. And the gray for the eyes and the nose, that's also mulberry paper. So I didn't want to go with the black for the eyes and the nose because it was just too dark. Uh, for this soft color, so I went I went with a gray instead. I uh, went around the edges with some chalk, and then the little spots on the giraffe, that's also mulberry paper, 
and then the little scarf and the button is felt. So I think he is so adorable. This is my absolute favorite um, little animal dye. All right. So my next favorite I'm going to choose, I believe, is the deer. So this is my next favorite one. Look at the cute little deer. And on this little deer, um, I had to add a cute little applique flower. And then I just included a little piece of tulle right there, just peeking out of there, just to give it a really soft feel. And these are gonna look so cute in my baby books. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. Okay, so my next favorite I'm gonna go with the cola bear and the little baby on the back. And um, on this, I believe on the nose and the eyes, I use just regular black cardstock for that. And you can see it has a shine there. I use some Winkle Stella to shine up the nose. I put some tool here to, you know, a little bow there just to make her look a little cute. And then here's a little baby on her back. Look at the little pamper. Isn't that cute? This is so adorable, you guys. And I love the felt. It makes it so soft and so pretty. Okay? So my next favorite, I think, what I would have to say are the cute little pigs. I love these cute pigs. Look, uh oh, look how cute they are. So, so cute. And I went with the gray uh, mulberry paper for the eyes. You know, just to keep that soft look. You can see the um, highlights. I used the chalk, the highlight, the, you know, the nose or the snout, or whatever you call it. Look at that. Isn't he cute? I love these. They're so cute. And I may go back in and put a bow. I love to include little bows and stuff like that. So the little pigs. So the next one, I think my next favorite, um, I would have to go with the panda. And I did the panda in the really pretty pink and white. And the white is the mulberry paper. And then the pink, you see there, that's felt. So that's the cute little panda. And then here's the bear. Cute little bear. And I just love the soft colors of this felt. So, so pretty. So that's the cute little bear. And then my next favorite, I think I would have to go with, oh, I forgot about this one, the hippo. Look how cute the hippo turned out. And this comes with the dye, and I just cut it out of some um, designer paper I had in my stash, some little baby uh, boy paper. And then I just put the, um, use this from the paper and just put B. That can be B for boy or B for baby. So I just put that there. And then I put some Wink of Stella. You probably can't tell on the little teeth hanging out there it is so cute you guys i absolutely love these and i can't wait to include them in my baby book all right my next favorite i think i would have to go with the cute little sheep she turned out cute and the brown here is mulberry paper as well as the white so that's mulberry paper okay and my next favorite, I think I will have to go with, um, it's kind of hard, you guys, to decide. I guess I will have to go with the cute little frogs. Get that off. Here are the cute little frogs. Aren't they cute with their little shorts on? And I put some Winkle Stella. You probably can't tell on camera here. Some Winkle Stella on the shorts. And here's the other one. Aren't they cute? And I was thinking about going in and put something on their head, like a little cap or something. That'd be really cute. 
okay and now let me see what my next favorite I will have to go with um, I guess the little elephants share with you the elephants these are cute I did two of these as you can see I use some light blue tool for the bow and a little yellow flower and then I use some you know the pink and yellow felt okay and my next favorite I think I will have to go with the kangaroo here's the kangaroo and look at the little baby kangaroo in the pouch so adorable you guys and I love the look of the felt versus you know just plain cardstock I like that really really like it and I put a little tool bow up there just to dress her up okay and the next one I will have to go with I guess the dinosaurs oops I'm just dropping everything here the dinosaurs here are the dinosaurs did that in a green and yellow Here's this one. Isn't that cute? All right, and then my next one, I think I will have to go with the monkey. Here's the little monkey, and I put a little crown on his head just to give him a little character. So that's the cute little monkey. All right, so I think that's all of them. Uh, let's see yeah I think that's all so I have been super busy but um, it's gonna be really easy to put my little book together and the cuteness is just gonna come together with all of these cute little cutouts of um, the uh, Marianne design Marianne design collectibles and they are so super adorable I absolutely love them so that is my share for you guys for this installment of Saturday Morning Crafts. Make sure you go by and check out the other ladies and see what they have created for your inspiration. And also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. If you stay to the end of this video, um, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I will be giving away a $15 monetary gift into your PayPal account. And um, all you have to do to be eligible for this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed to everyone in this collaboration. Make sure you like our videos. And all you need to do, you know, comment on everyone's videos. And on my video, I just want you to let me know what are your top three favorite little animals that I cut out. What are your favorite, your top three? So... I'm going to come back next Saturday and announce the winner uh, for my giveaway. So come back to see me next Saturday to see if you were a winner. And make sure you mark your calendars for the next Saturday morning crafts. I will have the date in the screen. So mark your calendars for the next Saturday morning crafts. And thank you as always for your love and support. And I'll see you guys and make sure you always do something with love and passion. Bye.